practice of healthcare was revolutionized by scientific medicine in the 20th century. Engineering is about to revolutionize and has already begun to revolutionize the practice of healthcare in the 21st century. And this is why we're offering a new intercalated BSc in biomedical engineering to give undergraduate medical students a unique opportunity to work alongside biomedical engineers and to gain insights into the practice of engineering and biomedical engineering and apply this to the, uh, to the care of patients and to biomedicine and healthcare research. So within my research group, what we're doing is using engineering principles to actually build new devices to take into the clinical situation to provide tools for clinicians. So this is a micro, clinical microdialysis probe. So what's inside is a very small sample tip. The neurosurgeons take this and place it into the area next to the injured tissue. And so what that allows us to do is to monitor the tissue, and particularly the molecules in the tissue, to find out what's going on in the tissue moment to moment. And to do that, we then need to build an analysis system that lives outside of the patient's head at the patient's bedside that can tell us what's going on. So in our group, we're interested in the biomechanics of skeletal development. So that's basically about how movement in the womb affects development of the bones and joints. Here on this screen, we can see um, babies moving at a range of gestational ages from about halfway through a pregnancy all the way up until the baby's almost born. We use a variety of methods. We use um, animal models, particularly the chick system, which Davy uh, here is working on. Um, we also use computer simulations uh, and we use clinical uh, human imaging, such as the type we see here, which is MRI data, in order to understand how movements in the womb affect uh, the bones and joints developing. Research in my group focuses mainly on trying to develop and validate some new technologies and devices to try and detect cancer uh, sooner and better. When this molecule which we have kind of design, engineer and synthesize in the lab bind to these uh, kind of uh, biomarkers in uh, human blood, then they do a change color which can be detected either uh, 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 by the naked eye or under a, a UV lamp. So if I put these two solutions now under a simple uh, UV lamp, as you can show in here, as you can see here, on the right, you've got the uh, molecule which we've been engineering in the absence of a biomarker, completely dark, non-fluorescent under a UV lamp, while in the presence of a molecule of interest, you can see that the solution starts glowing bright a green a yellow, indicating the presence of the biomarker for a prostate a cancer. The program is designed to give an overview of biomedical engineering to enable you to be numerate, analytical, and to approach problem solving from a new perspective, an engineering perspective, in fact. The course is structured around core modules and electives. The core modules provide a solid underpinning in the fundamentals of engineering, physics, mechanics, mathematics, and programming, whereas the electives will allow you to focus on areas which truly interest you. A key feature of the program is the project, where, in where you will be working alongside a group of biomedical engineers, providing a clinical perspective and learning from their engineering to produce an original piece of, of laboratory-based practical research. I decided to apply to study biomedical engineering because it allows me to contribute to the medical community with a different skill set. I think it's a great idea for medics to get an insight into the engineering side of things because I think that allows later on medics to work closely together with engineers to solve these problems. Um, Bioengineers are going to have a lot of expertise in how to apply engineering to, to healthcare, but medics are going to have the specific expertise that any team will need later on when developing a bioengineering project. So for any medic to have that insight is going to be very, very useful uh, later on.